it is a big event, and a lot of people want to participate, and, and it takes a lot of organisation. If you think of the number of people shooting, I mean, it's, it's a huge logistical nightmare to get all the people happy, shooting at targets that are consistent. But equally, they really appreciated the English countryside and what we had to offer. So it was wonderful to do. I think a, a challenging course, you know, we know we've got some very good shots. Uh, George Digby wants to retain his title, and, and I wish him all the best, but he's going to have to shoot very well to do so. Uh, the weather looks varied, I mean it's, it's, it's nice now but it's rained a lot today, we've got some rain coming on Thursday so there's a bit of luck involved with the conditions when you get your squad drawn, are you going to get a nice day, you're going to have wind, but it's a great honour, I mean for me personally I started it as, as a student, this whole business where we're standing at the landfill site originally but took good old Buckingham rubbish and it was filled in by the county council. Um, we've now found a second use for it and we now have the biggest and best shooting ground in, in the UK, employing a lot of people and also making a lot of people happy. There's a lot of people who come here after work, but pensioners who use it as a hobby. So to be chosen as somewhere to, to host the World Championships for a second time now, um, I think it's the first time it's ever been done where they've returned to the same game. There'll surely be a tick in the box for us and, and we're honoured to have it. What they really want to do is test the wide skill of a shooter. It's not always lots of quick targets at all, or lots of very far off targets. The whole key is to put as much variety in as possible. So that you've got every angle, every change of targets. Some are very quick, some are very slow, some are combined. Um, some are big targets, a standard clay pigeon, some are small ones. And, and it's really getting the shooters to be able to read how to shoot these targets at different angles. Some are dropping, some are climbing, some are slowing down, some are going away, some are coming towards you, um, some are with the wind, some are against the wind. And, and the, the person who wins this is undoubtedly the best shooter in the world. So this is really the home of shooting and, and we have all the facilities here to manage the event. Firstly, the shooters all come here for a minimum of at least two days because they have to shoot two different courses. A lot of them are here today, which is before the event, shooting either the sport trap or compact sporting layouts to get their eye in, to have another little go. And a lot of these shooters come from other countries, different climates, and used to the English countryside. And they're here for at least two days, and I think it's more than just going on a shooting round. They want to socialise it, we want to make the place look its best. Um, some of them want to buy memorabilia from the UK or buy accessories to go with their guns or their clothing. I think you have to put more in than just the shooting round. But the unsung heroes are the people behind the scenes, as you say, who people like Chromatic who are providing all the traps, they've provided us with a number of engineers who are helping my team set the course which means putting out over 50, 60 different automatic clay pigeon traps all around the property, setting up all these different targets, making sure they work, making sure they're safe, making sure that the guns enjoy the experience. Probably 200 people, um, including volunteers who are scoring and marshalling on each stand. Um, so there's, there's a whole team there who all have to be fed, looked after, kept happy, and hopefully do their job to make this event work. Um, we have a number of Americans here who shoot very well. It's always quite fun having a bit of British-American rivalry going on on the shoot. So we, we can add a bit of spice and a bit of fun in that way. That's even better. Um, but we just want everybody to go away, even if they haven't scored highly, to come away saying, gosh, that was a fun shoot, I want to go back. That's really what we want to do and promote shooting.